From bad sleep to city-bound sea turtles, we all know artificial lighting messes with our circadian world. Now, new research links it to childhood obesity and even some forms of cancer. Now just to refresh, there's night, there's day, and life here on Earth evolved to roll with those varying degrees of light exposure. For us diurnal humans, that meant ruling the sunlit hours and hitting the hay in the evenings. But then came fire, lanterns, electricity, and now we're constantly lit by night lights, street lamps, and countless glowing screens. Hey, modernity is nice, but what's the cost? New research out of Australia and Israel suggests some troubling answers. Researchers from the Queensland University of Technology studied three to five-year-olds from six Brisbane child care centers. Specifically, they looked at each child's sleep activity and light exposure over a two-week period. They also noted height, weight, and body mass index. Then, they followed up with the children a year later. In a paper published in the journal PLOS One, they found that slimmer children received the most light exposure in the afternoon, and that's both indoor and outdoor light. Furthermore, moderate light exposure earlier in the day and greater exposure overall correlated to increased body mass index 12 months later. Hey, this isn't that surprising given what we already know. Artificial light exposure can interfere with circadian rhythm and alter the expression of melatonin, impacting sleep as well as normal hormonal function. Research from Israel's University of Haifa seems to back this up. In a paper published in the International Journal of Obesity, they connect the dots from artificial lighting at night, particularly white LED light, to melatonin suppression and a metabolic tendency for increased body mass. Furthermore, they link to previous Israeli studies linking light pollution to increased cases of breast and prostate cancer, potentially due to melatonin's antioxidant and anti-cancer properties that are lost in all that light-induced suppression. There's still quite a lot of work to be done here, but the science presents us daywalkers with a troubling picture. With our lamps and our tablets, we've transformed the darkness and potentially opened a previously unknown doorway to disease. So what about you? Are you planning to turn off a lamp or two this evening? Tell us what you think about the science here. And for more weird wonders, be sure to check out now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.